What's going on everybody, Jeans here, back again playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, we're hopping onto the casual ladder one last time before the rank season comes out. But today, we're using a very strong team that you guys might want to rent for rank battles, considering this team is absolute fire. We got ourselves a Galarian Moltres, I should say a Berserk Galarian Moltres team. You guys are in no deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But like I said, last time on the casual ladder, using an amazing team, we should showcase it pretty well today and grab some wins for you guys. But first Pokemon for today's team preview is going to be Urshifu. Urshifu is going to be an absolute medicine regulation D. That's why I want to bring you guys a really good team and hence the reason why Urshifu is on this team. Urshifu's got Unseen Fist, Mystic Water as item, Surgeon Strikes, Aqua Jet, Close Combat, and Detect. Hands down, the met, the best moveset for this Pokemon. Fluttermane is going to be our second Pokemon, and this one's a little bit different. It's got Protosynthesis and a Focus Sash, and then it also has Moonblast, Shadow Ball, Perish Song, and Protect. So slightly different, but pretty much the same Fluttermane. Third Pokemon is going to be Heatran, and Heatran is going to be that nice, steady, old, reliable Pokemon in Regulation D. It is always going to be solid, no matter what team it is on. It has Flash Fire, it, uh, it has Leftovers, Flash Cannon, Protect, Heat Wave, and Substitute. Rillaboom is in our fourth slot, and despite the nerf that it got when it came into Scarlet and Violet, it is still very, very viable for Regulation D. It has Grassy Surge, the Assault Best as item, Drum Beating, Knock Off, U Turn, and Fake Out. Bottom left hand corner is going to be Regilecki. Regilecki is now one of the fastest Pokemon within competitive battles. It's going to be a great Pokemon for speed control and for some big time special attacking damage within this series. It's got Trans Transistor, the Cobra Cloak as item, and the Ice Terror type. Pretty solid all around. Cannot wait to showcase Regilecki. Final Pokemon on today's team is going to be the star of the show. It is going to be Galarian Moltres. Absolutely love his Pokemon and love his design even more. It's got Berserk, so when his HP falls below half, it will actually get a plus one special attack boost. It has the Citrus Berry to pair up with that ability, and then it's got Fiery Wrath, Air Slash, Protect, and Tailwind. Guys, you want to rent this team for yourself? I'm not to go to that top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that casual ladder one last time and grab some wins with this Galarian Moltres top tier Regulation D team. First match is on its way, and we're going up against a very strong Trick Room team with no Regulation D Pokemon. I would say this is more a, of a, a Series C or whatever that series was called Ting Lu Trick Room team. They got Torkoal, they got the Ting Lu, Hatterene, Lil Gint to pair up with the Torkoal and the Sun. And last but not least, they got Hariyama and Indeedee. How should we play this one? How should we get after it? Considering Trick Room is going to be rather annoying, I still might go Urshu. We have no way of get, getting weather control, but I kind of like the Moltres here. I kind of can get down with Moltres. I mean, what's your terror type? Steel and your shiny. Dude, the, the, the Galarian Bird shinies are just awesome because then they, their colors are the same as when they were in Kanto form. So I really like the shinies for that, but who should I lead here? I mean, Rillaboom's not going to be bad, considering I can get that terrain control. Actually, I might want to swap into Rillaboom, right? Hmm. I might want to swap into Rillaboom. I'm not too sure. What does Jeans want to do? I do not know what I want to do here. I really do not know. I could definitely see Torkoal coming out here. Definitely see a lot going on. So you know what? I'm going to go into... I'm going to go into Heatran. And I'm going to go into Urshfield. I'm going to bring Galarian Moltres in the back end. And then last but not least, have Rillaboom? Now we're going to go Regilecki. I think I got it in. Took me a while to pick this team, but the Trick Room is always a tough one to play up against. But something I know that you guys are wondering is, is like, yo, Jeans, why aren't you using like an off meta, a fun team, or like a cool Pokemon for today's video? And like I already mentioned, it is a day before the rank season comes out. So I want to bring you guys an absolute star studded team. Something that you guys can rent right here, right now and get going for when rank comes out tomorrow. I will have a better team, probably one of the best teams for Regulation D coming out tomorrow, but uh, for now, this team is top tier as well. They end up going into Indeedee and Ting Lu, so special attack is going to be down. Um, I'm kind of fine with that. I mean, I could terrestrialize my Urshifu if I want to. I could indeed do that. I could set up Substitute, which could be really good. I kind of want to do that. Actually, I might want to terrestrialize on top of that. Because Ting Lu's going for ground moves. I don't want to deal with that. I simply do not want to deal with that. So I'm going to go for a Surgeon Strikes into the Ting Lu slot. I'm going to set up the Substitute, and we're going to go from there. Because Indeedee's probably either going for a Follow Me or a Truck Room. Either or, it's going to be able to get it off. So I feel as the play is just set up a Substitute for my Heatran, get some damage off of my uh, Urshifu, and kind of get after it that way. So we go into Grass Terror type. This thing cannot get hit by Fire Moves due to its ability. 
and we're gonna get going from there. Probably Terrasilize into Tinglu. That's totally fine. Poison type? What type you got there? Poison type. It's always poison type. It's always poison type. But we're kind of hoping he's going for a ground move in the me, considering I Terrasilize Grass for that reason. But Surgeon Strike's gonna fly, do about five and a half damage. It's all good. So we're chipping up, slowly but surely. A little bit of chip never hurt anybody. And what, indeed, what are you doing? Trick room, or are you just hitting me with a psychic? You got options. I'm subbing up, though. I'm getting that sub sub. So we sub up here. He goes for a Gleam. Gleam Ski Boo comes out here, and Earth Food soaks up really, really well. Sub suit should still be there, and it is. And Stopping Catch is going to fly here. Can sub suit still be there after two shots like that? Is it still there? Oh, I thought it was going to be there. That would have been awesome. That would have been beautiful. That would have been lovely. But I'm going to get some leftovers HP. I could set up another sub. I could set up another sub. Definitely could. I could set up another sub. But I feel like from here... I am going to set up another sub. <laughs> I'm going to do it. I'm going to set up another sub. We have leftovers. We have all that good stuff. And I'm just going to pop a nice little Surgeon Strikes right into Indeedy. I'm going to get off as much damage as I can on Indeedy. Hopefully, it's not popping in Shirk Room. And hopefully, it's sticking with this Dazzle Gleam. Because then I can just get rid of it next turn and kind of rule out the battle that way. We'll see. We shall see. So I'm setting up another sub suit. They want to double down into me again? That's totally fine. I doubt they're doubling down into me, though. Heavy Slime comes out here. And the sub suit should be able to eat that up, right? Cool. And now out comes the trick room. So, all right. We're going to get some leftovers HP. I could protect this turn and block the sub, but mm, I think we're, we're thinking potentially fine here. Just to start attacking. Could definitely protect. I'm gonna double protect to start wasting out these trick room turns, actually. We shall double protect. We might just aqua jet. Actually, we cannot aqua jet into the uh into the indie slot. Dang terrain is out and about. So we're just gonna double protect here to start wasting out some of these trick room turns. Cool. So we'll play this one slow. This is gonna be a good battle for you guys. Heavy slam's gonna fly here. We're gonna block it. So he's gonna look to take out my He's gonna look to take out my sub and Dazzle Gleam on top of that. Okay. I mean, that's fine if you do that again. I don't, I don't mind it too much. Do not mind it too much. Now, the real question is, do I... Do I close combat into Tinglu? That might be my play. Or just close combat. Maybe just heat wave across the board. I want to do as much damage as I can to that. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna chunk up uh, damage on Tinglu because I really don't want to KO too much yet. I really don't want to do that. And the reason being is like once I KO, they're gonna throw out their big gun. So I'm trying to stall out these turns all day. And Gleam's gonna come out here. We're soaking really really well. We're soaking really really well. But now my sub goes out. I might set up another one next turn. I might just do that. Heat wave flying here. Just chunking up damage. We did KO in DD. Kind of tough. Kind of wanted to leave it on like one HP. But I can double protect this next turn if I want to. Surgeon Strikes is flying though, getting off as much damage humanly possible on this team. Slowly but surely. This is gonna leave it on like one. Ooh, that hurts the soul. Hurts the soul. So we're hit three times. Um again, I could set up a sub, but I wonder who they're gonna go into. We're getting some HP back, yo. Heat train being a dog. Being a dog. But we got the Moltres in the back end. I really like where we're sitting, considering the, the turns that we're going after. So Hariyama comes out. Um, okay. I, mean, I don't mind that much. I really don't mind that much. I mean, Heat Wave's gonna fly here, and I could just detect this turn. How many turns left in Trick Room? There's two. So, you know what? I am gonna detect this turn. I'm gonna detect. He can't fake me out. He's got the Psychic Terrain out. I think it's sitting pretty good. We're playing this one nice and slow, and we're just, we're just waiting for our opponent's Trick Room to end. That's fine. I'll take it all day. I'm just gonna detect. I still haven't lost a Pokemon. I'm gonna Heat Wave. I'm gonna drop the Ting Lu here. He's gonna hit me with a knockoff. Take off my leftovers. But I, I don't think you can KO my heat train. Body press coming out here. I'm blocking. Cool. All we need is this heat wave just to hit the Ting Lu. I don't really care about the Hariyama. And it does connect. So Ting Lu, get it on out of here. See you later. So now they have one more turn left in the trick room. I could protect the heat train. Urshifu's probably going to die here. I think they double down to Urshifu. And then I can just bring out Moltres after trick room ends. And we'll get Thrive from there. Because Flame Orb's going to gonna proc here so he's got flame orb he's got the guts he's getting some big time boost and hatterene's here so yeah urshifu is a goner both my pokemon might go out here but after this it should be fine 
should be fine. So I'm just going to go for a flash cannon into the slot. And, you know, I'll go for Aqua Jet. I like to get off as much damage as I can. It's chilling. We are chilling. We might not even need Galarian Fez here. Might just come in and just do like one shot of damage just to clean everything up. But we played so good with our lead. That was great. That was honestly really good. F wasted five turns of Trick Room with just our lead. So Wide Guard comes out here. That's actually a really smart play there. Really smart Wide Guard play. Actually, not really. I'm going for Flash Cannon. <laughs> so I can help Aqua Jet. I thought I was going for Heat Wave for a second. He's going to be able to Gleam. So Gleam comes out here. My Hatterene, or not my Hatterene, my Heatran is able to survive that. So he should be able to just rip this Hatterene with this with this shot here. Say see you later to it. Awesome. You thought I was going for Heat Wave, really? You thought, and this thing gets a free Focus Ash? Come on, man. What you mean? A little free Focus Ash? What you mean, dog? Get on out my face, but still. We thriving here. We're going to bring out the Moltres. It's going to be game, set, and match. So we could go for a while, but we could, but you know what? I think we just go for Heat Wave, and then we just Fiery Wrath across. We're not Heat Wave. Uh, flash Cannon. We're just going to go for Flash Cannon Air Slash here. Simple. We outspeed. Game set match. Hatterene's going to protect. And then Air Slash, we're going to finish it off. GG easy. Look how sick Galarian Moltres is. Especially Shiny. So good. I think it's an absolute menace too. Really, really good. Especially when it falls below half, gets that plus one. Then you Citrus Berry up. And then eventually you get plus two on him. Because it goes well, in certain circumstances. Say like they hit you just below half. You'll get the Berserk uh, special attack boost. Then you'll eat the Citrus Berry. And then you can drop below half again and get another special attack boost. So really, really cool. That stacks like that. But battle was canceled. We're 1-0. Played that one really well. Let's hop through a second. Let's go back to back. Second match is on its way, and we're facing a star-studded regulation D team. Kind of like ours, this would be a team that I would think would be, like, the best. You got the Tornados, you got Urshu, and then you got Shen Pao Dragon. And then, really, the other two don't really matter. Like, those four Pokemon are going to be insane within regulation D. But they also have Moltres. They have the Flutter main, and how should we play this one? I mean, they're going to try to take some speed control. I could definitely just go in with Regilecki. The only problem is going to be Shen Pao Dragonite, right? Huge big time problem. We don't really want to deal with that. Um so I don't know who I should go into. Regilecki's gonna be solid. I could also go Fluttermane. I don't mind Fluttermane, especially with the Focus Ash. And then as back end Pokemon. Hmm. Heatran's not bad. He can really soak up some of those moves. And then we'll go in with the bird. This one's gonna be tough. I mean Actually I really want I really want Urshfu. So I'm gonna go Urshfu and then the bird. I like Urshfu. It's got the first time priority. It could definitely come and clutch for us with the Aqua Jet. But yeah, this is going to be tough. Like I said, like you guys thought Shen Pao and Dragonite was good in the last series. They're even better this series, I feel. as like They didn't get a buff or anything, but it's just like they counter a lot of the main Pokemon now. Like Regilecki can't do much up against it. It's just so strong. It's just legit so strong. And plus, Speed Control is going to be a big factor now. But they end up leading Urshfu alongside with Fluttermane. And from here, it's just going to be a free E-Web for me. And I can go into Shadow Ball. I could go into Moonblast. Um, I think anybody's going to go into a Terrasalization Urshfu. So I'm just going to go for this. Uh, I'm just going to go for this into Fluttermane. And actually, this works perfectly. None of them Terrasalize. We get the speed drop. We're going to dump on Fluttermane. We're just going to get it out of the picture. And he might dump on my Regilecki. Which would be totally fine. Because then I have speed. Fluttermane can just rip into it next turn, and we're thriving here. Hot start for us. No terrors. That's weird, right? It's definitely weird. Certain Strike's gonna fly here, and yeah, Fluttermane's gone. Fluttermane's gone. <laughs> it's gone, but I don't mind that. As Regilecki's E Web can finish off the Earth Show, it could slow down next Pokemon. I can get out the bird here. I can bring out the Birdie Bird. The Birdie Bird. Birdie Bird. Get on out here. Galarian Moltres, dude. I love it. I love it. I love his Pokemons. I actually like its original colors better than the shiny version, even though the shiny version is sick. Just like the red and black, woo, it's fire. It's it's very fuego. But they end up bringing out Dragonite. So I'm just going to E-Web, and I can just go into an Air Slash here, or should I Fiery Wrath across the field? Should I go into Steel-type? I think I might go into Steel-type. The reason being, I do not want to take an E-Speed to the face, right? E-Speed to the face, no bueno. We don't like that. We do not like that. I might go Aqua Jet E Speed. They can go both here. Again, first turn priority. A problem. Big time problem. <laughs> so uh, you're going to see a lot of Indeedees as well. Indeedee's going to be a great Pokemon. 
So we're going to Rasslize our Birdie Bird in a straight steal. Because we can. And we're gonna. And we're gonna roll off from there. But this is gonna be a good match. It's gonna be a good match. So now steal. Here's the E speed. And you end up taking it into Regilecki. Cool. They did not double down. So that's gonna finish off you. And now I get off a nice little air slash. We get the speed drop on him like it matters. And we'll go from there. Because uh, if I had to guess Shen Pao, it's going to be an expert Pokemon. Shen Pao's slight issue, right? Slight ish. Slight issue. So there's the Shen Pao. Um, I can't protect Regilecki. It might be my play because one of the first time priority moves are going after me. Probably you speed again. So I'll protect and I'll buy some more time. And do I Air Slash or do I just Fire Your Wrath across this? I can take off Focus Ash on Shen Pao with Fire Your Wrath. You know what? I'm going to do that. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna take off that focus action. He's gonna Terrasize. And please go Ghost Typhoon. Please go Ghost. It's not Ghost. I was hoping that was Ghost. And he goes enough flying. Kinda odd, right? Really odd. Super odd. I don't get that Terrasization. I, I don't understand that. What's with the flying? What's with the flying? I think he just went into it to go into it because he still had his terror. It was kinda like last turns. We blocked the E-Speed. Sacred Sword's gonna come in here. We're able to soak, and good thing is Berserk's gonna pop here. And we get our Citrus Berry, and now Fire Wrath should be able to take out Dragonite, no problem. I believe it should. So now we're plus one. So out comes the Fire Wrath. Get rid of that Dragonite, please, and thank you. Let's go. And do massive damage to Shen Pao. That's what I don't understand. That's why I don't understand that Terra choice, but hey, we'll take it. We'll take it. So now it's 3v1. I can just go into a Volt Switch. I can just go into another Fiery Wrath. And that's going to be game, set, match. Our opponent cancels the match. 2-0. We're hopping into a third. Prepare for the brooms. If I win this match, you guys owe me a sub. If you're not subbed and I win this match, you guys have to sub. I don't make the rules. I just enforce them. But we're going up against an Origin Palkia team. What? Why am I versed in that? They also have Calyrex and Groudon. Those two Pokemon alone are insane. I do not know too much about Origin Palkia, but if I had to guess, that thing probably shreds. And I kind of want to reverse it, because I kind of want to beat it. So who should we go into, and how should we play this one? Moltres isn't going to be bad. Regilecki going to be great. So I'm going to lead Regilecki. I am going to lead the bird. I just feel as they're both really, really good. We'll bring Fluttermane in the back end, alongside with Urshifil. Lock it in. Lock it down. Hopefully I can win this one. I'm scared. I'm terrified. But I really want to see Origin Palkia, just because I never liked seeing that Pokemon in battle. Like, I caught it and all that. I have it. It's just I never, like, threw it out on the field. <laughs> and, like, actually used it. So, we'll see. We'll see. You get it from Legends Arceus, which is really, really cool. And they go ground on right off the rip. I don't like that. I, I don't I don't like that. I, I just don't like that. Ah, man. This stinks, man. Mm. I might just let Regilecki die here. Honestly, I mean, I can actually Volt Switch beforehand, which is pretty good. So I can Volt Switch. I can just go into a Tailwind. I can actually match Tailwinds here. So if Renaz goes for a Tailwind, he's, gonna, he's just going to KO me. See your Regilecki. Unless you can outspeed him. You do. That is awesome. This thing has a Wakan Berry as well. So Wakan Berry, half in that damage, we would have KO'd it, which would have been awesome. And we're swapping our Reggie for other purposes. So I, I think Urshifu might be our play. The Urshifu can definitely eat up this uh, this ground move here. Or if you're going into fire. And then you go for Sword Stance. That's actually fine. Because now I Tailwind. Now I should be able to outspeed you ground on. And get off some big time damage. So we go Tailwind for Tailwind. I like it. Hopefully this thing's not rocking with Icy Wind. And I could Terrasize in the water. Which I'm kind of leaning towards, right? Yeah, I want to get off as much damage as I can to that. And then we'll Fire Wrath across the board. The Swords Dance coming here. I know that the sun's out. I know it's going to neutralize some of the damage, but I still feel that Surgeon Strikes with Urshi Urshi can get some damage, right? We'll see. We shall see. Groudon's here. Things a pain. Good thing Regilecki's that fast. They outsped the Groudon, which was in a Tailwind. That thing's just so fast. Regilecki's speed's like 270 something. It's absurd. It's absurdly fast. So we Terrasilize, they are also going to Terrasilize. That's got to be Groudon. What type are you going into? Don't scare me. You're not going to ground. 
Actually, I want to mine ground. Steel. You better hope that I don't get a close combat off on this thing. You better hope not. You better hope not. Bleak Wind Storm somehow connects onto me, which is kind of ridiculous. In the sun. And now we can send this fire wrath. But look how big ground on this. Thing's massive. Thing is massive. Certain strikes we do outspeed. I wish I would have went for the fighting move, man. See, Surge Strike still would have did a decent amount of damage, honestly. Because it would have been doing double damage than what it is right now. Would have brought it down close to red. Of course, this thing's rocking a Citrus Berry. I need one more turn with Urshfield. I really do. And let's see what Groudon wants to, wants to do here. Thunder Punch. Oh, yeah, I'm dead. All day. All day to that. <laughs> so I get absolutely shredded up. Um, from here... Just to play. What is the jeans move here? Gotta bring out bring out Fluttermane? I mean I do have Sash. But I could go back in the red like and out speed. I'm gonna use my focus sash here. I think now's the time to use the focus sash. We could e-web into him. And I get pro synthesis boost. I could sash up here and I could shadow ball into that slot. So I'll shadow ball into that slot. And I'll also just fire your wrath across the board just so we can get rid of Tornados. It's not looking good for us. Crowd on is him. It's so cool. I love this design. Matt and Kyogre are like, they're, they're like my two favorite legendaries all the time. I was actually at work today and I have like three monitors while I work. And on the other monitor, I was doing like Pokemon quizzes and I did one of those, uh, there's like a grid and you pick your favorite Pokemon from each type from each generation. So at the end you have like a whole list of like over 100 Pokemon. It's really, really cool. If you guys want me to make a video on that, I could do like a 10 minute video on showcasing my favorite Pokemon from each gen and each typing. But they do throw out the Palkia. I think it looks awesome. They throw out the Palkia and we get some big time damage off and I outspeed. We're in this game. We are in this game. Look at that Palkia. That thing's massive. I'm here. I'm here. Came to play. Came to play. You can have your legendaries. I'm a moon blast that thing. Actually, is that thing part water like the original? It was insane. Now Calyrex comes out here. God dang, man. Cali Calyrex. Um, I could double down to Calyrex if I want to. Could definitely double down to Calyrex. But moon blast is gonna be super effective. I'm gonna moon blast that. I'm just gonna fire your wrath across the board. I still have focus ash, which is awesome, but. Calyrex is probably fast on the field, right? I don't know Palkia stats, Origin Palkia stats, but we'll see. Actually, it's not now. Oh, yeah, we got speed heightened. We have speed heightened. Good old Protosynthesis. Get on out of here, Palkia. Say hi, Jeans. And there's the Astro Barrage. So Astro Barrage can KO Fluttermane for sure. Can you eat that up, Moltres? Oh, Fluttermane eats it as well. We love it. We love it. Oh, wait, I had Focus Ash. Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Berserk popping. Give me that berry. Oh, we already used our berry. So we're plus two now. The bird. The birdie bird. And yo, guys, just took out all three legendaries. Come on. Come on. What did I say in the beginning? Why is the berry triggering afterwards? That's weird. It made me think I used my berry. But what did I say? I said if we win this match, if you're not subbed, you have to sub. Take a peek down. If that big red subscribe button does not say subscribe the ED. You got to click it. You got to click it. So I don't make the rules. Like I said, I just enforce them. But now I'm just going to go for a Moon Blast. I'm going to go for an Air Slash. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Game, set, match. 3-0. Bring out the brooms. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. 3-0. Bring out the brooms. This team was absolutely amazing. I have to give a huge shout out to my boy Brad for making this team. I actually forgot to give him a shout out. And I apologize. I apologize. He actually just sent it to me over on Twitter before I was recording this video. Or, like, just before I was, I hopped onto my setup, I was like, it's all that. I was like, I gotta use this team. So, huge shout out to him for making this team. But it was absolutely amazing. Two or three legendaries. Got that three no perfect record for you guys. But, guys, that is gonna be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button. So, you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.